Hi, Nick Houston here at the Gotham Sound Expo 2021 with Jeff from WYSICOM USA. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you, Nick. It's so great to finally be here and actually get to see people in person again. That is something we've heard a lot of, <laughs> and I agree. Uh, so thank you for coming up from DC. Yeah, of uh, course. Or Alexandria, right? Yeah, yeah I'm based out of our, our shop just outside outside of the capital. Mm -hmm. So we've got the whole WYSICOM line here, but we want to focus on a couple of new things. Uh, why don't we start out First and foremost, I know this has been out for about a year, <laughs> super high demand, but just yeah. tell me a little bit about this. So this is the MCR 54. As, as you said, not, not necessarily a new product, but you know, with the way the world has been, this is our first time to actually get to show it in person to a lot of people, though it has been shipping. You know, this is really a, a flagship receiver for us. It's four channel, true diversity receiver. So there's eight receiver boards built into this. And not just that, this does multiband. So 470 to 663 and 940 to 960 in the US. So everything you need in one tight, compact package. Mm -hmm. uh, and this has a lot of functional IO. So you can do just straight up TA5s with Hiroshi to go into your bag, or this is fully compatible with Sound Devices SL2 to get eight channels of AES straight into your eight, uh, eight series mixer. Perfect, fantastic. And I should also mention that for people that are using it with an older super slot with the SL6 or maybe like a PSC or something like that, yeah, you it can... does have a TA5 on the front, so you can get two channels out of the super slot and two channels yeah, out of and, the front. And with that, it's it's fully compatible or uh, fully routable inside, so you can send two channels of analog to top and bottom or two channels of digital or any combination of the two. Oh, okay, got it. Uh, so, so it's can... it's, it's uh, meant to fit any workflow that you, you may be doing. Mm -hmm. to fit to you, not to have to fit to it. Got it. So now transitioning from the MCR 54, I see four MCR 54s here. So tell me about what's going on with this thing. So this is uh, something we also sort of announced in the middle of last year, but this is something that we're really proud to introduce to our product line. And this is called the MRK 16. Mm -hmm. So the basic idea is 16 channels of multiband wireless in one RU. Mm -hmm. So first you'll notice there's no antenna connections off the front. Mm -hmm. Something we designed in that you may have noticed on the back of the MCR 54, you'll see there's two antenna ports. So without any ad additional flanges or adapters, this will slot straight in so you get all, all 16 in one RU. Mm -hmm. uh, fully loaded, this has got Dante primary redundant analog AS59 mm -hmm. Optical in. Keep looking this and, way. Uh, I'm going to get a shot of this from the back. As Nick goes around, we'll, we'll slide yeah. around to the back. Great. Uh, multiple antenna zone inputs, as well as fiber antenna zone. So you can, you can use this to fit a huge number of applications, as well as with the low noise amplifier built into the RF, you can loop through up to four of them, so you can get 64 channels of RF in just four RU. With any other solution, you would need to be add the antenna combiner, a matrix antenna system, or antenna splitter, and it just it adds up your space. So just to point out, since we're back here and, and if we can cut to the shot uh, of this phone, but so we've got the DC input, uh, we've got analog outputs, we've got AS59, we've got um, AS72, AS we've got Dante and PoE. So this is actually a, this one. is actually a really cool bit of bit of tech on the back here. So the DC port, it, DC only uses uh, two pins, so you can do two pins for power one, two pins for power two, so you get redundant, but it'll also take two PoE++ inputs, so you basically get four redundant power points of input, as well as you can route one PoE out so you can drive an access point off of this unit. And those work along with the fiber inputs, so you can do, for example, one application would be a antenna input, but also send output via fiber, your Dante, to your OB van or truck, whatever your application is, it's, it, it acts as six fully configurable ports and a managed switch internally. And uh, uh, just looking at what we've got here, we've got a couple of different antenna inputs. We've got some AES in and out. We've got RFV. Yeah, and, and so it's got loop out so you can come into fiber, loop into your device and get multiple zones, as well as it's joining our family of products with Bluetooth. And so this is Bluetooth 5 long range and what is considered what's called class one. And class one Bluetooth devices allow a maximum of 100 milliwatts, which is what gives it long range compared to many other devices are class two, which max out between about two and a half to five milliwatts. Right, and so, so you, this, get, you get a huge amount of range with the system. And, and so this has been a long time coming, right? You mentioned that this was uh, mentioned last year. Yep. 
right? And so what is the, what's the latest and greatest? Because this is the first um, model we've seen. So this, is, this has been you know, a long time coming. We, we put this as part of our announcement with the MCR-54. Mm -hmm. And since then, we've been doing a, a lot, a lot of development. So you know, we, we work a lot with functionality required for some of the larger motorsports, like MotoGP, Formula One, uh -huh. in, in how we can fit those applications and fit those for location sound. So the version we announced about a year and a half ago is a very simplified version of right. this. Uh, with a very basic in and out. And this has got a lot more packed into it than previously. It. And what's the, so obviously like you have one here, uh, when do you think the first production models will be hitting the, the shelves? Uh, I just got an email uh, actually yesterday as we were doing this. The, the first production run is scheduled for the end of October. Okay. Beginning Great. of November. So, so at this point, three to four weeks. We should be, we should be getting them soon. Okay, knock on, on wood. There's yeah. wood under here somewhere. <laughs> Uh, um, very cool. It, Italy is watching this now and... and uh, oh, good. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> Don't kill us, Massimo. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I should mention that if you do have any questions or comments that you want, you can put them in, uh, in the comment section on Facebook. We'll get them live here and we can ask them to Jeff. Yeah. Um, so, and then the other thing that's new to talk about, and this is a little bit uh, foreign to me, so why don't you tell me a little bit about this? Yeah, so this is, this is a newer box we've come out with, and this is called the RPU 500. Yeah. And so what this is designed to be is, is we've designed it in conjun conjunction with, you know, Formula One MotoGP and, and some similar sports for a reporter kit. But this has a, a huge amount of applications in location sound as, as a boom op kit and, and, you know, an IFB transmitter. So this is, one of our, our most our multi-band products so this does 170 megahertz through 960 megahertz oh wow and it's capable of one watt in the 940 to 960 band wow um, okay and that's as a transmitter or that's as a, a that's a transmitter okay and the version coming in in 2022 has the true diversity built in so uh -huh. when you use it as a boom op kit they can wear it on their belt get the headphone out so you can communicate and they can hear their boom wow uh in real time okay and what um what kind of batteries does it take? Uh, this takes, a, it's an inspired energy battery oh. that works off the same smart charger system as everyone is standard to. Interesting. Okay. And this is, in fact, the same battery that works with the BCA54, okay. uh, which is the battery sled for our MCR54. Uh -huh. Very cool. Uh, you know, it's okay. a lot of just multi-purposing batteries and different things for cross devices. Yeah. Um, any questions from the the Ethernet in internet? We do have questions. Okay. Uh, first of all, there's a uh, somebody named Katie Baynard. Okay. Maybe Jeff knows her. Oh, Katie is uh, somebody named Katie Baynard has. Oh, a, that sounds a like my wife. Uh, you look super <laughs> cool. You look very cool. Um, oh, thank, and then, you. Uh, thank you. Chris oh, Giles, ahead, what is the Bluetooth uh, used also, for uh, specifically? Currently texting me asking what time my train is and how soon I'll be home. Uh, and, very good. You know, she doesn't <laughs> like to share me, you know. Um, I don't blame her. Uh, Chris Giles wants to know what is the Bluetooth used for specifically? Will it control body packs? Uh, I send a new frequency or adjust level. Okay, so copy. So the Bluetooth, you mentioned it in the MRK16. Uh, what is the integration with that? What are you planning for that? Will it control receivers only, transmitters? Where are you going with that? So the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth does a lot of things. For right now, the Bluetooth works only with our receivers. So you'll see on the MCR54, uh, this has some Bluetooth connectivity. And as I'm saying this, I'll, I'll open up uh, the app that is very beta. Uh -huh. But you'll see, um, you know, the first rev of the app that's going to have a lot of a very large amount of improvements between now and when we release. Um, but for now, it's to give you the full control and functionality of your receivers and of your MRK16 from your phone. Mm -hmm. As we move forward and develop into the next generation of transmitters, uh, those will be fully Bluetooth uh, compatible as well. Mm -hmm. And this, this leads to a lot of abilities, not just that you can transmit or uh, control your receiver, your transmitter's frequency gain but it also allows us to have some, some functionalities with positioning. Mm. And there, there's some more of that to come soon. We're okay, gonna, you know, got it. Next so, couple weeks. So we're in beta and development on the Bluetooth control, but yeah. you're building it into the receivers now for future improvements. Correct, yeah. It's, it's, it's putting in the infrastructure now for some features we're going to implement and announce later on. Got it, cool. Any other questions from the... So when is your train time, by the way, and when will you be home? Uh, my train is not till 6. Not until 6, and when will you be home? At, uh, about 10, Okay, we'll be home at 10. <laughs> That's it for Facebook questions. Okay, very good. Jeff, yeah. 
Thank you very much for joining yeah, us. Katie, thank you thank for you having for the us. Loan. Um, and we will be talking again soon. Yes, yeah, sounds great. Oh, oh, oh we, we got, got a new one. We got I one more. Uh, does the Boomop belt pack have phantom power high pass filters? Uh, will the Boomop belt pack have phantom power and high pass filters? I'm sorry? The Boomop belt pack, this RPU yep. 500 and the new version that they're talking about, phantom power? Yep, so this has 48 volt built in and it will have all the, the same low pass cuts low, or low cuts that you're expecting out of our transmitters. Fantastic, okay, <laughs> awesome. All right, very good. Thank you so much for watching as always. Uh, I'm trying to wrap up and I feel like there's more comments coming in. Uh, well, there's one question. Uh, it is, are there plans for Aton Hydra integration in the rack mount device? Oh, you know if there are gonna be, um, it's a great question actually. Are there plans for Aton Hydra integration or other integrations in the MRK16? Uh, at the moment, I, I don't know specifically what integrations we're working on. I know that you know, Mosmo, the, the owner of Wizicom, and, and Wizicom as well have really great relationships with, with the, the guys at Anton or Aton and Sound Devices. And I know we're, we're always you know, working to make our, our integrations uh, functional. Got it. OK, very good. Great. All right, we're going to start the wrap up one more time. Thank you so much for watching. You can watch this video and more at GothamSound.tv. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, if you have any questions or would like to schedule a demo, please email us at info at GothamSound.com. Thank you for watching. Jeff, thank you yeah. for being here. Katie, thank you for the loan. <laughs> yeah. See you soon. Thanks for having me.